Witcher Blood Origin. Well, this was episode three. How was it? Ah, uh, uh, my bad. How was it though, homie? Man, what you think? How was it? What nice can I say about Blood Origin? Well, at least it had the good taste to only be four episodes long. And this one may well be the worst episode of the lot, so brace yourselves. And where did I leave off last episode? Well, the lark was about to be eaten by a hell beast, some centipede anglerfish sort of thing. And how on earth are they going to resolve this intense boss battle? Well... They bravely run away and go through a portal, which shuts after them while the beast is halfway through it, cutting the beast in half. And that's it, it was a total anticlimax. Through the portal and the Lark's group end up back on their own world, which is an enormous stroke of luck, seeing as they ended up on a random planet last time they tried using a portal. And this is where they just happen to run into Meldoth the Dwarf. A dwarf. They come out of the portal and she's thus there. And what a stroke of luck again. The whole plot runs entirely on lazy contrivance. Like last episode with Brother Death, who just happened to find the Lark's group by accident. Just happened to want to join them. Just happened to know a healer who could help poison Sian. And the healer just happened to have a brother who could be extremely useful to them because he was an expert on portals. And why write like this? This is frankly an insult. How about just off the top of my head, instead of all that rubbish, how about the portal guy realises he's made a mistake in teaching evil wizard Lenny Henry about portals and he wants to set the world right. He hears of the Lark and Fiol, of them being alive and on the run, so he sends Brother Death to find them, so they can maybe work together to set things right. And you get to entirely the same place without the need for four massive coincidences. And it's not so much that this plot has holes in it, there seems to be more hole than plot. You may have noticed by now that we're hardly dealing with Shakespeare here. So after the Lark's group come through the portal, they land on Meldoth, who's gesticulating wildly. She's trying to warn them that they're about to get killed by evil wizard Lenny Henry's hell beast that is currently circling overhead. And she wants to help them for some unstated reason. And Meldoth just lifts a line verbatim from the Terminator. Battle's beast. Come with me if you want to live. I was already annoyed and laughing at this stupid show within a couple of minutes of it starting and before the title screen even dropped, which is quite the achievement. Meldoth the Dwarf takes the heroes to the place she's staying. But didn't she just come to this area? What even was Meldoth's journey across this continent? What even is the timeline? Because none of this seems to add up. When did Meldoth find the time to provision and fit this place out? Also, Meldoth knows the Lark, because of course she does. Everybody on the continent knows the sodding Lark. She also knows the whole story of the Lark's group. She knows where they've been and what their goal is somehow. She learned all of this off camera. Somehow, word has moved faster than their group despite them taking a portal to get here. And how did that happen? The Lark's group travelled here instantaneously, but somehow, word of mouth got here before they did. And now safe in the hideout, the Lark's group, at this point for the first time, try to come up with a plan. And the plan they come up with is first thing, they need to defeat Lenny Henry's flying hell beast. They also need an army, because currently, there are seven of them. And that's somewhat less than they need to topple an empire and take a city. Brother Death chips in, suggesting that they feed the hell beast a poison sheep. And the rest of the group look at him like he's a fool. Despite the fact that the plan they ultimately go with is far more stupid than the one he just proposed. The plan they go with is when Portal Guy suggests that they need to create their own beast to fight Lenny Henry's Hell Beast. Portal Guy wants to mutate one of their group to become that beast, and he says it will probably end their life. 
and I would have maybe given the poison sheep plan a try first. At least they would all probably survive that, even if it didn't work. Luckily, Portal Guy just happens to know the exact right spell to make this mutation happen. And it just so happens that what he needs for that spell is the heart of the centipede anglerfish thing. And what a stroke of luck. The portal that took their group to a random location just happened to take Lark's group to a world that contained the creature Portal Guy would need for the spell. Entirely by accident, because Portal Guy didn't even know he needed the thing's heart yet. And also, the random wall that they got taken to, they just happened to land right next to the creature that they needed. It happened to chase them, it happened to get caught in the portal and cut in half, and luckily the bit of the animal they needed landed on their side of the portal. And all of this would have made far more sense if Portal Guy had just done all of this on purpose. And this is why I think this show is even worse than The Rings of Power. It's complete nonsense. From my perspective, it would have been far better if Portal Guy had had the plan of creating a mutant from the start and took Lark's group to that world intentionally to get the heart he needed for the plan. We're four minutes into this episode, including the title screen, and at this rate, this episode is going to finish me off. I'm genuinely not sure I can take it. This episode is 51 minutes long, and lately I seem to be watching pure, unadulterated garbage. Last night, I took a chance on a film that I've never seen in the hope of watching a sexy vampire Olga Kurilenko, and instead, I ended up watching Vampire Academy. In short, I did not enjoy the film Vampire Academy. In its defence, I'm really not sure I was the target audience. Could you make a cup of tea, please, Stephanie? 